All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao, and the fact that it seems like he has to withdraw from their big pay-per-view fight that they had coming up in a couple weeks. Um, let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the subject matter of the video, please make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel to subscribe to the channel. If uh, Also, make sure that you like the video, share the video. It really does go a long way towards growing the channel. Man, this is just a sad, sad uh, uh, event and in all around. A, a, a one big fight is no longer gonna be taking place according to TMZ. Um, Errol Spence Jr. has to, you know, having a torn retina is no joke. That's a very, very serious injury in the boxing world. And then Manny Pacquiao, who was relying upon this fight um, as to be his big coup de grace, come back and win over Errol Spence Jr., now has to settle for something a little less. But let's talk about each of those things in turn. Talk about Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr., first of all, I wish absolutely the best to you know on uh Errol Spence Jr. and his quick recovery and return to boxing there was a point in time when you know a torn retina was pretty much you know you were done in in the sport of boxing that was the injury that took that happened to Sugar Ray Leonard and Sugar Ray Leonard tore his tore his retina and it was like he was out of the he was out of boxing for shoot for several years and there was a lot of wondering about whether or not he would ever come back but i do believe that you know that advancements in surgery and such have have been made where it is a lot more likely that that Errol Smith Jr would be able to come back you know from a torn retina but it just seems like it's just really unfortunate because he's he, he had fully recovered from that car accident and where he had he flipped his car so many times and he didn't have any broken he didn't have any broken bones so it looked like you know that he got out of that free and clear but you know what they say like when you take that much trauma and there was all that much bruising and bouncing around on his head that may uh, that may have very well weakened his eye and made it sort of more susceptible to the tear. I don't want to pay doctor and I don't know, but you know, it's just, it's a, it's a heart wrenching thing to have him overcome that, that big, a major injury. And then to have this injury on the way in, you know, to the fight. So, you know, my prayers go out to him, go out to his family. And I certainly hope that he comes back strong and all that. But then the, also the other aspect of it, is is Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was looking, he was being very courageous and fighting Errol Spence Jr. And it looked like, you know, he was, you know, in shape for this fight and he was going to have an opportunity to go and try to win an undisputed, it's not undisputed, a unified championship from Errol Spence Jr. And now, and that is set to the side. Now, I, un, my understanding is that there's going to be a replacement um, fighter come in for Errol Spence Jr. who was already on that card, and that's your Danny Zugas. So actually, your Danny Zugas and and uh, Manny Pacquiao can fight for the WBA title, and not the in and, and Manny Pacquiao has a chance to win his WBA title back. But it's just all around. It's just a it's just a disappointing disappointing thing to see now what hope happens going forward. What my hopes are is that is at Errol Spence Jr. goes through his uh, recovery process that he is actually, and then he fully recovers and that these guys can go back and try to do this in a several, in, in, I don't know, six, eight months, something like that. Cause I know that there was a time then Abner Mares tore his, 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 his retina, and I think they said that his uh, recovery time for a fight was going to be like seven, seven or eight months. But I know that you pretty much um, can't train. You can't definitely can't take any shots to the head or anything like that for a while with a with a torn retina. And it just seems like, man, this is really just just bad luck. And it's not just bad luck on on um, the 
Errol Spence Jr.'s part and 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 Manny Pacquiao fight, but it is but this is bad luck in our major fights that we've been looking forward to this year because this is the second major fight that has been held up. The last one that was held up was because of something that was less serious and honestly, in my opinion, less real, which is Tyson Fury pulling out of the Deontay Wilder fight and having us hold up because that original fight was supposed to be in July and now it's in October. But you see, like going into July, who would have thought that both of those two major fights would have both been backed up? Both the the um, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury fight and the Errol Spence Jr. Manny Pacquiao fight. Now, what does this mean for the biggest the biggest issue here, obviously, is the risk for for Aerosmith Jr.'s career with a torn retina? Now they haven't I haven't had any chance to hear what the prognosis is, but it's a very very serious injury, and you have to expect that it's going to take some time for him to recover. And I'm hoping that what what isn't going on is that you know you just like one injury after the ne next injury after the next injury kind of takes over this kid's career because he's just so promising, but it. Um, just shows you that, you know, things that things that you have, you got to really got to take care of them. And because it's just my belief that once once you have a major bunch of major injuries, then you are susceptible to more injuries. And this thing to me now, and obviously I'm not a doctor, so don't write, the, you know, don't write this and take this anywhere. I just believe that 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 Errol Spence Jr. being in that car accident has made him made him susceptible to additional injuries. Because similar to the way that you had uh, with Kell Brook, when Kell Brook had an eye injury when he after he was fighting Gennady Golovkin, and then after that he became susceptible to another eye injury, or these are in this case it was orbital bones when uh, he fought Errol Spence Jr. Well, if you look at the pictures. Of Errol Spence Jr. in his in his um, the fight that he had, I mean not the car accident. You see that his eyes are swollen, you know, and he obviously you know had a concussion and his head was beat up. I just wonder if that you know has anything to do with making him more susceptible to like in internal eye injuries. But all in all, you know, I just hope that Errol Spence Jr. is healthy. And I'm kind of grateful for a fight that we'll still be able to get a fight. And that fight being, my understanding is, for the championship, for the WBA championship between your uh, your Danny's Ugas and um, your Danny's Ugas and Manny Pacquiao. But just sad thing to take place, you know, for the people that bought their tickets expecting to see Manny Pacquiao, Errol Spence. You know, in Dallas, they're not going to get to see that. And, you know, it is what it is. But we'll be keep, keeping uh, track of this and, you know, and giving updates as it goes. Uh, thank you for watching the video. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.